Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be opening and unboxing and uh, checking out this Toro company. It's called Toro Tech, T-O-R-T-E-C-H. They're based out of Texas, obviously. This is the F6K series, 6.5 component series. They do have them on sale right now, and I will leave a link to their products down below. So, really fast shipping. Their customer service has been really helpful so far. So get the Toro 6.5 component and coaxial speakers. Um, let's open it up. Thanks for the support. So the woofer size is 6.5. The tweeter size is 13 millimeters. We got a 50 to 20 kilohertz, 93 dB, 60 watts RMS on the F6 and nine, uh, 100 RMS on the F6K. Maximum output is 200 watts. I mean, maximum power input is 200 watts. And these are dual fours. Well, four ohm, so, so, uh, four ohm components. You can get them in four or eight. Frame diameter is 6.52 and mounting depth is 2.36. Mounting diameter is 5.63. Heavy gauge steel powder coated basket. High energy Y30 magnet. Uh, Two-piece custom paintable metal grill and custom woven fiber paper cone. Butal rubber. High quality cloth spiders. That's uh, going to be interesting to see if it's the same as most people's. One inch high temp uh, KSV voice coil. 13 millimeter uh, hard dome tweeter. And 12 dB crossover. Packaging is really nice in these. Okay. So, let's take one speaker out at a time. Ooh, and I see my first issue. So, this one got damaged. So, I admit they came from, they, they shipped through their Amazon and there was no packing material in the box, but that's nothing that we can't just pop back and that's almost back to normal it, it's gonna get dinged up anyway so here is the speaker nice um nice texture used a little different than normal basket very impressive that's a nice basket on these um magnet uh, magnet seems a little small for what they're claiming but you know, I'm not going to judge. Door speakers have came a long way since back in the day. And for the price, I'm sure they're going to do better than anything that you can go to the store and buy. Well, at least handle the same. So it looks like I have the same issue with this one. Let me take that. It's crushed in. No big deal. Um, so maybe a piece of styrofoam over that would help a little bit or something. The box didn't look to be honestly damaged much. Maybe. All right, so now we can take these out. And here we have the nice crossovers, actually. Nice design. Super. Let's see. All right, so we have our end positive, uh, end negative. We have our woofer positive, negative, and our tweeter positive, negative. Um, so these, I don't think this opens, does it? Yeah, it does. Ew. Okay, so it's a uh, super basic crossover board. Nothing, nothing fancy. Not meant to be opened, I don't think. Oh, uh, well. Unless you need to, but so you got a uh, three point three um, farad, two hundred and fifty volt per audio cap. It's got a coil in there and uh, something else, some kind of isolator. So that's those. Take that one out. Next we have the frame. 
so you can mount the tweeter a little adhesive. Obviously, most people don't use adhesive, but if you need to, I guess. And here is the tweeter. Sorry for my camera angle, guys. I'm in the office and it's a little cramped in here. So there's that. Pretty basic. One inch dome tweeter. That won't pop out without a flathead screwdriver. Get a figure. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, so. No, nothing uncommon there. Pretty basic technology for any coax speaker. These are what you get in this. They look nice, honestly. Um, I think opening it up, putting an LED in the back, back side right here, tying that into a little bit of power, power on ground, you'd be good to go. There's some LED lights on these because I uh, can see through that cover. Why not add a little RGB to make it look better? There's that. There's that. And that's it, guys, for this video. So I will definitely be installing these in the Toyota Corolla. It's an 04 Corolla. Got some NVX 6, 6x9s for the back. They don't make a 6x9 kit for these yet. And I've got the FIBTL 15 going up. So stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more videos where this came from. And actually, I came across another issue. That magnet is hitting on this. So I will need to wrap this. Cross over back up and something. Just to protect it. And here's a better shot of a magnet on this. Kind of small. Um, it's a, definitely a different cone. I really like it. It uh, feels really good, actually. It feels really good. It's going to be uh, interesting to see how these sound. Now, I'm going to play them on the um, stock head unit first, and then I. I will make another video on the Pioneer deck that I got, and then I will make a final video with them amped out. Um, once I figure out what configuration and everything I want to run with these. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on the build. And as always, hit that like button if you uh, enjoyed this content, and it helps the algorithm out. And if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to... Uh, be able to send you a notification when my uh, videos post so also hit that little bell icon